So the, the last thing I need to do is turn this over to Dr. Haney so he can give you an update on the student success. All right, just a couple of quick updates. Uh, we completed our fifth summer bridge program, uh, Jump Start, which just by way of reminder is a program designed for students who are enrolled in developmental English and developmental math. Uh, in addition to the developmental coursework, we provide a range of wraparound services to support those students transition into the College of Lake County. Uh, our enrollment went up 29% uh, in that program. We served 121 students uh, across eight sections. Uh, we had an 80% uh, jump start success rate. Uh, by comparison, in other similar courses, uh, that's 63%. So 80% success versus 63% uh, in other courses. Uh, Fall Bridge, uh, you may recall that we're starting a Fall Bridge cohort. Uh, it launched on Monday. It, it, it's a very similar project. Uh, it does include a component of community service uh, as well as their developmental lab. These are students who are with double developmental, both in English and in math. It's a daytime cohort group of 17 students, and they started uh, yesterday. And then finally, you may recall a couple months ago, we were here with uh, uh, our athletic director. Uh, we talked about academic success of our student athletes. Uh, we are in the final phases of hiring an academic success coach and compliance coordinator for our student athletes. And next month, I'll be bringing you a proposal to expand some tuition waivers for our uh, student athletes. So that's my report. All right, and uh, thanks, so that concludes um, my report, Mr. Chairman. I should be. Yeah, yeah that's good. Yeah, questions. Yeah, I have a question on the EI yeah. mm -hmm. This list of courses that were mm -hmm. developed for COC mm -hmm. of 40, was it 40, 45 mm -hmm. or so? Mm -hmm. um, when do you expect to have enrollment in these courses? I mean, are these like available next year or the year after or like now? And how many can we expect, approximately how many students on average can we expect in each, each of the courses? Sure. I can get you that data. I don't have it offhand, but there would have been enrollment in each of those courses because as part of this, uh, you develop the course, then you run it. Um, another aspect of these courses, these are something like OER courses, right? So actually, everything you see in there, uh, all these other courses you see, the basic electricity and wiring, first year experience trailblazing, we can access at the College of Lake County. Okay. So what we're going to do is uh, go to Dr. Haney's uh, Provost Council and, and then we've already been working anyway with it, and uh, Stephen's going to go there and kind of walk through to see if there's any interest amongst the deans in acquiring any of these courses. So you can uh, acquire them, and they were all built to be uh, online, actually, too. So, um, so, But they're not all live right now. Is that what you're saying? No, th th these would not be, because, for example, they're a curriculum, so you wouldn't have all the one. Okay. Let them live at once so you'll be going through them in steps. And okay. But yeah. Okay. Um, good. And how are you going to give us those numbers? I'm going to have someone collect them, like perhaps uh, Dr. Haney or Nick or someone. And I mean, when, when would you expect we get them? Oh, I'll do it in the report. When we give you the report on iChen, we'll give you the numbers, uh, the numbers in the courses. We'll have, uh, we can bring some of the faculty here and work on it. I'm going to give you a poll on that. Okay. Uh, any other questions? Otherwise, uh, we'll move. Uh, Good. Are you hearing them? Thank you, Rich, as well.